Hi everybody, uh, this is Take 30. Okay, my name's Karen and I'm a paediatric nurse and I work in the local children's ward. And my name's Ewan, I work for Border Force and I work in our regional control room which is based in Folkestone, handily for me, but we cover Kent and uh, we cover the ports in France and the Eurostar ports. Uh, the question that we have to answer first is, what are we doing this time tomorrow? Tomorrow uh, will be a nice day for us because today... Is our 23rd wedding anniversary. Um, we've Ooh. worked part of this weekend, so we're having the day off tomorrow and we're going to enjoy our day. <laughs> we are indeed. Um, the next question is, uh, what have we been doing during lockdown? Um, it's a strange thing because we're in a virus. I remember the first infection I got when I was at karate class. It was Kung Flu, and that's especially for Andrew. Um, during lockdown, we uh, have been both working throughout. Um, our daughter has completed her degree working from home for the last time and our son has also uh, been doing university work at home completing his first year. Yeah we've mainly been working, um, the time seems to have gone quite fast for us but uh, we did enjoy a week in Devon a couple of weeks ago um, on the first week of the uplifting so that was nice after, um, after the spell. <laughs> Uh, what do we look forward to with restrictions lifting? Um, I'm looking forward to giving my friends and family a big hug. It's been uh, difficult having this separation from people that you love and uh, that includes all of you because we've missed seeing people uh, each week. Um, face masks are the latest restrictions that have come in. We'll all be wearing them but I have an answer to them because I do miss being able to see people's expressions being able to even recognise people uh, and even being able to talk clearly. So my answer to this has been, and this is the big reveal because Karen didn't know I was going to be ordering this, when I wear a face mask, uh, I will be wearing this. And if the writing's backwards, it says, it's me, honest. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to... Uh, going swimming. I do enjoy my swimming, uh, so that'll be nice when the pool's open. And um, I am looking forward to seeing my parents, my mum and dad in Edinburgh. So we're very much looking forward to that as well. And then finally, what words of encouragement do we have? The first word of encouragement is that this video clip is nearly over for you. But um, Karen's mum and dad sent us uh, copies of a book, and it's this one. It's by John C. Lennox. Again, apologies if the writing's backwards. Uh, I don't know how to change that, but it's called Where is God in a Coronavirus World? And in it, he mentions one of my favourite verses of all time, which is from uh, Romans chapter 8. And it's one you'll be familiar with. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, Neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And it's just a reminder that no matter what we face with coronavirus, no matter what circumstances we are in, that God is with us and nothing can separate us from his love. And I want to just focus on the very um, first four words of the entire Bible. In the beginning, God... And during this time, we can turn to these first four words and remind ourselves that God put the planets, the sun, the moon and the stars all in their place. He has always been. So let these words, in the beginning God, bring peace, joy, love and hope and introduce us to the subject of the Bible, the true and living God. So thanks for listening and we do look forward to seeing you all again in the very near future and God bless you. Yeah, cheerio. Bye.